quick. G'day guys, Sam here. I'm in the scrub right now. Um, got my gun over my shoulder. I've got my mate here. This is Oliver. Hello. Um, he's a mate from my hockey team and uh, he's never shot an animal before. So we're here at this private block that's teeming with goats. We've seen a bunch already. Um, and we've just done a bit of target shooting. He's a bit more confident with my gun now, which is good. We've been shooting targets at 100 yards. That'll be plenty of distance, I reckon. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can't get him his first goat. So uh, come along with the adventure and let's see what happens. Sweet as. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Beautiful shot, mate. Beautiful shot, mate. And she's dead. Mate, that was a glorious shot. Awesome, bro. Alrighty, make the gun safe. So, just click the bolt up and eject the round. Grab it if you want. And then, um, don't... Oh, okay. We've chambered another round. That's alright. Click the safety on. Okay, good. We'll make that a bit safer soon, but grab that uh, bullet. Shot bro, you just shot your first goat. 
Yeah. How was that, eh? Bloody exciting. Pretty good. Yeah, man. Awesome. Can I keep this in my pocket? Yeah, bro. Hold on to that. Alrighty, well, there's uh, Oliver's go there. And then uh, here's my go, my big boy, just there. So we'll roll them down the hill together and, uh, yeah, set up a cool little trophy shot. Well, Ollie's shooting up the hill to um, grab his goat to bring it down. And here's my Billy. Hooey! That I'm thinking might be another 30 incher. Man, it's going to be close. He's, uh, yeah, he's pretty similar to my other one. He doesn't actually twirl as much. Oh, that's going to be close, actually, to a 30 incher. I don't want to make the call. But uh, how's that for shot placement? Boom, right there, nice, nice bubbly blood. That's exactly what you want to see. He didn't go very far at all. Took a few bounds out of pure adrenaline and then uh, collapsed and, uh, yeah, kicked his last kick. Bloody good. How you doing, Oliver? Doing good? Yeah, where's the goat? Keep going, mate. <laughs> the goat's up there. You still got a little while to go. Where do you reckon it is? <laughs> Where you shot it, was it just standing in the scrub or was it standing out in the open? Alright, what's in front of you? Yeah, that's what I'd do. Keep looking mate, see if you can find any blood. Remember where it was, it was basically standing on that rock when you shot it, eh? Hey, you found it! Bloody good! Roll it down, bro, and we'll give it a full autopsy for you. Oh! I don't think I've ever seen someone take this long to move an animal, you know, 20 metres downhill. I reckon I could have carried it to the top of the hill by now. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yep. But like I said, you can't bruise dead meat, and I don't think the goat really minds anymore. Come on, use those muscles. Surely those muscles aren't just for show. Right, last one. Down it goes. Big heave. That's more like it. Yeah. How hard was that? <laughs> Alrighty, well here they are, our two goats. My pretty decent Billy and uh, Oliver's beautiful, beautiful eater. So we're real happy to take this one. Um, it's a beautiful sized eating goat. Um, it's a cool colour and it didn't have any Reliant kids on it, we made sure, and after we shot it, it was with a couple kids, but they ran off with um, another goat and it looked more like their mum, um, especially since this one was white and the two kids were black and brown, so it was a good sign, so we didn't make any orphans today, which is always a bonus, but uh, yeah, now nah, bloody stoked, so it was a beautiful stalk, seeing the goats from way up there, coming around, shooting the big one first, um, he, you know, collapsed, he died straight away, it was a beautiful shot placement, um, and then... Yeah, we saw this white one and uh, mooched around and Oliver got into a beautiful shooting position. It was comfy as, which is what you want. And uh, yeah, plugged it at, oh, who knows, probably 50 meters, like pretty close and absolutely drilled it. It looks like it was a hard shot. Um, took out her leg and she just fell and she was dead straight away, basically. So that's exactly what you want. Two beautiful, um, yeah, beautiful animals. Awesome story. And uh, no, nah, we're stoked as. So I'll whip the head off this. I'll take some of the meat as well. Um, and then we'll get Oliver to we'll whip the guts out of this one and get Oliver to carry it up the hill um, Proper hunter style and then we'll cut it up at the top of the hill where it's a bit easier and stuff and I can teach him how to do it But uh, yeah, nah, bloody bloody stoked Alrighty, so I've just got this goat and I just want to show you Oliver's shooting. This is the heart and it's a textbook heart shot We were gonna I was gonna keep the heart. I was gonna make him bite into it, but um <laughs> Nope, that's not happening. This he just absolutely annihilated this heart. It's a textbook heart shot. Um, 
bloody good. So yeah, we've just whipped the guts out, um, and we're gonna make it into a little bit of a backpack um, if we can. It might be a bit small for you, I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just whip it over your shoulders and we'll get it out of here. Um, yeah, no, bloody good. We'll get up to the top, and oh, we'll take the meat off and the head off my goat first, and then uh, yeah, head on up the hill. Sun's starting to set now. It's looking kind of nice over in the oh. in the distance. Be nice if there was clouds went there, but um. <laughs> It's good, we're not gonna need hair torches, so bloody good. Yeah mate, that looks like plenty. And then just go down maybe to the end and cut a little bit more away from the end over there. And then just cut in nice and deep. So Yep, so yeah, try to stay as close to the bone as you can so you don't leave any behind. Yep, so you need it you need to cut across down the base of it there to separate it out. See there? Yep. Oh. There we go. There you go, and just continue up and just keep it nice and close to the bone. Nice, okay, we're missing a little bit here. I've got this all starting to rain. Bloody hell, it's starting to rain, okay. We've got to speed this up. Alrighty, bro, um, the rain's coming in. All right, grab that and just whip around your shoulders, bloody Game of Thrones style, I reckon. It's not small enough to, you can cut the legs and make a backpack out of it, but it's not big enough for that. And it's pretty light, so I reckon just, you're gonna get your nice sweatshirt bloody though, I don't know if you want that. Um, so yeah, so you want the front legs around one shoulder and the back legs around the other. If you know what I mean. Like yep. man. Watch out for my gun, but okay. yeah, just whip it up over your back and uh, up the hill we go. Here we go. Yep, up and over. Beautiful. Easy as. Easy as. Alrighty. Starting up the hill, bro. I'll catch up. You got it, mate. Half over, bloody good. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, we're swerving wrist here. Yeah, bro, we're to the top. Well done, mate. Fucking track. Fucking well done. Ow. Jump step on my meat. Or oh, your meat. Beauty, yeah, alright, bro. Yeah. Have a rest here. I'm gonna run back and grab my bloody jacket. Where is it? Alrighty. G'day, ski. Hey, go, mate. What's that, eh? What's that? It's a goat! It's Oliver's goat! Yeah, we finally got out of the rain, so just gonna give him a quick lesson in skinning and boning. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take all the, as much meat as we can off it and uh, over to the butcher for sausages. Yeah, mate, doing a bloody good job. Keep at it. Nice work. Yeah, we're getting there. Meat's looking nice and clean. Yep, that's starting to come away nice. Yes, it's looking nice and clean back there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yep, that's alright. Yep, just keep peeling, just pulling and slicing. Oh, shit. You're not too much meat getting left behind. That's good. Good. Alrighty guys, well I'm at work at the NZDA uh, National Office and um, it's been a few days, I've just spent the day boiling the head and cleaning as much of the meat off as I can and just up here I've got the cleaned up skull so there's a few flies around and stuff because <laughs> there's a few goat particles everywhere um, yeah it's not super nice, I'm gonna leave it out for a bit um, in the sun and take the horns off once I can. But anyway, what I want to show you was the spread. Boom! I don't know if you, hopefully you guys can see that, but uh, that is an almost 32 inch spread goat. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I honestly did not expect it to go 30. I thought that it was gonna go 28, 29, I thought it was going to be close to 30. I didn't think it was as big as my last big goat I shot last year, but it's bigger. I don't think it's going to have, um, I need I need a properly Douglas score it, but I don't think it's going to have a bigger Douglas score. Um, let's put them there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to have a bigger Douglas score. I think it'll probably be about the same. It doesn't, it doesn't twist around as much, you know? Yeah, no, nah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's my biggest um, spread goat. I'll have to score it to see if it's my biggest, uh, you know, goat in general. But uh, yeah, 
yeah, no, freaking, freaking awesome. So, anyway, I just wanted to wrap up the video here, just at work, surrounded by all these awesome ass heads. If any of you guys are in the Wellington region, you should totally come check this place out. Um, it's uh, pretty cool. That is the biggest head ever shot in New Zealand. It's a massive whoppity shot by a guy called Edgar Nitz um, in Fiordland, obviously. So that middle head's the biggest one taken in New Zealand. And then we just got a bunch of heaps of random little heads, basically one of every species. All behind us, um, up here we're building a bit of a museum, um, just kind of celebrating the history of hunting and, and stuff like that. And we've got this pretty cool, he's not real. Gives me a hell of a Friday every time I come up here though. <laughs> um, and then we've got this cool full body seeker. Um, we've made a little hut. Might as well show it since I'm here. G'day mate. Just an old, uh, yeah, old little hut with all a bunch of stuff in it. But uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm going to wrap the video up here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to follow NZ Chronicles on Instagram. And... Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.